Do you have any health-related issues that people should know about? Uh, yeah, I think um, an interesting topic that many people would be interested in would be uh, dry eyes. Uh, there are over 40 million people in the United States with dry eye. Um, so I would think that this would be a topic that, that when it comes to eye care, people may be interested in. And how do you diagnose or treat dry eye? Many things have changed when it comes to the diagnosis and treatment of dry eyes. Um, we have tools now that we have not had in the past. Um, the, orig- the initial um, appointment for my dry eye patients is more of a diagnosis and an analyzation of their tear film. And we, we like to find out whether or not their, their tears are salty, whether or not they're inflamed. And once we have this information, it tends to lead us to the solution and how we can help people with dry eyes. You know, whether, whether it's contact lens induced, whether it's environment induced, many people take um, medications that, that cause dry eyes like antihistamines um, or antidepressants and many others. Um, but once we get to that point, then we can really talk about the different solutions that are available for dry eyes. Um, we recently um, purchased some new technology called the MybaFlow, and it's, it's very similar to like a massage or heat treatment that will allow the glands in your, in your eyelids to, to express the oils that they need to in order to avoid um, dry eyes. So there's a lot of different things available, and it's, it's, it's really exciting the direction and all the information that we've been able to, to glean and to learn over the past few years. Um, I myself have dry eyes, and uh, as a result, you know, I have a, have a strong rooted interest in trying to help people with dry eyes. Okay, thank you. My name is Eric Gendron, and I'm reporting for ABEX Community News.